Hello, I'm an oxygen atom. I would like to tell you a little bit about myself. I hang around the earth in the form of an invisible, odorless gas. No, not that kind of gas. I'm talking about gas as in not solid or liquid. Yeah, that's me right there. See? Well, I guess you can't see me because I'm invisible. But if you could see me, I would look like this. I'm pretty important to most living things because I help them release the energy from their food molecules. Humans and some other animals even breathe me in. Wow, this kid is really a suck up. Ha, <laughs> get it? Suck up? Ooh, this guy breathed in a little too much. That looks like it hurts. I make up about 21% of the air, so I'm all around you. In fact, I'm in front of your face right now, but you can't even see me because I'm so small. I don't really have a face. Instead, I have protons and neutrons in my nucleus, and my little negative electrons orbit around my nucleus in what we call energy levels, or shells. Technically, I look like this. But this picture isn't as much fun, so we're going to go with a shot of me with a face, okay? Well, my life isn't always one big party. Let me tell you why sometimes I am so sad. Well, we atoms strive to have our outermost energy level filled with electrons. When I'm not bonded to any other atoms, I only have six electrons in my outer energy level. See? It really makes me so sad. And I... I start to tear up. <laughs> I kind of feel like Ron Weasley, all lonely and incomplete, because he really loves Hermione, but he's afraid to tell her, and he's just sad. And then his wand broke, and that made him feel worse. Yep, that's how I feel when I don't have eight electrons in my outer shell. And the thing is, I'm not the only one. All the other atoms out there feel the same way when their outer levels aren't full of electrons. Here's one now, hydrogen. Her outer level is the first level, which can hold a maximum of two electrons. But she's only got one. She's so sad, just like me. She kind of feels like Hermione. She really loves Ron and feels incomplete without him, but is too afraid to say it because Ron's kind of, well, you know, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed and she's really smart, but she loves him anyway and she feels incomplete without him. Yep, that's how hydrogen feels without a full outer shell of electrons. Oh. Here's another lonely hydrogen, looking just as sad. Hey, I just had an idea. I need two more electrons. And each of you hydrogen atoms has only one electron. If I share one of my electrons with each of you, and you share yours with me, then you'll both have outer shells that will be full, and so will I. What do you say, hydrogens? Want to give it a try? Yes! Hydrogen, you complete me. I feel so much better now. We have to stay close like this so we can keep sharing these electrons. I'm feeling a real bond with you both. In fact, I don't think I'm quite myself anymore. Actually, now that we are bonded, we are no longer invisible gases. We are water! We made a new and different substance when we bonded together. And you, and you and me, no matter how they toss the dice, it had to be. The only one for me is you, and you for me, so happy together. Sorry for that emotion.
emotional outburst, but we're pretty happy together. Anyway, I have a confession to make about myself. Not many people know this about me, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Now, it took me a long time and many EE meetings to be able to admit this, but I'm an electron hog. I know it's hard to believe because I'm such a nice guy and all, but that's what I am. The hydrogens don't seem to mind though. So what I do is I keep the negatively charged electrons flying around my nucleus way more than the nuclei of the hydrogen atoms. And this makes my side of the water molecule a little negative. See? The hydrogen side of the water molecule ends up being a little bit positive since the electrons don't spend as much time around them. These weird little symbols mean little bit or partially. When part of a molecule is positive, while the other part of it is negative, it's called a polar molecule. And that's what I am. I'm water. I'm a polar molecule. Polar molecules can do some really cool things. So, it's awesome to be polar. Here's one of the cool things I can do since I'm polar. When other molecules that are polar get near me, like other water molecules, the positive hydrogen side of them is attracted to the negative oxygen side of me. Like this. See? This is called a hydrogen bond. It's just an attraction between the slightly positive hydrogen of one water molecule and the slightly negative side of another water molecule, like me. It's not the kind of bond where there's electrons being shared. Just a little attraction. It's a pretty weak bond too. It can break pretty easily. And when another water molecule gets near, it will form another hydrogen bond with me. Like this. And even another. Like this. And finally, like this. So, these attractions that form between us are called hydrogen bonds. And that's what makes water sticky. Each water molecule is like sticky to four other water molecules that hang around it. If you don't believe me, I can prove it to you. Take a penny and slowly drop water onto it. The water won't fall off until you have a huge mound of water on top. This is because the hydrogen bonds between the water molecules keep the water molecules together. They're sticking to each other. Try it yourself. Another way to prove that I'm sticky is by looking at the surface of leaves or even on your car when it rains. You know how the water appears to like mound up or bead up on those surfaces? It's because of those hydrogen bonds. Try dropping some water onto a piece of wax paper and you'll see what I mean. Another cool thing about being polar is that all kinds of molecules that are charged can dissolve in you, like sugar and salt. Cool, huh? Well, I hope you learned a lot about me, oxygen, and how I share electrons with two atoms of hydrogen to form water. I hope you learned a lot about water too, because without it, we're goners. See ya! Imagine me and you, I do, I think about you day and night. You're nothing but a big baby with big pants on.